uh, is this your story today or am I reading for you in a specific situation? Again, if it doesn't ring true at all, only pick up your messages. If it's already resonating, you can click out if there's no resonation, obviously. We're going to start for the Divine Feminine at the first part of this. I will do Divine Masculine next. And it all depends on whether your placement is feeling more feminine or masculine. We have the Animal Oracle deck here. I'm just going to draw your first initial cards reading for today. These are very personal and they mimic personals that I do on the channel. Let's begin for the Divine Feminine. What's she feeling or going through at this time? Angels, could you connect to me in this 3D? Of course, I cannot reach the 5D and neither can you, <laughs> but we're going to get started. She is feeling the scarab beetle and I'm a little bit scared because I saw this before I opened my book here to pray this morning. Um, I felt like people needed messages. It's a time for any light work to be sufficient and useful at this time. We have 52 scarab beetle. Uh, you could be heavily associated to Isis. You could be the Cleopatra of your time. There's somebody directly watching over you in the spirit realm who has like Egyptian pastime. You could be connected to any of those gods or goddesses. Source is saying you're protected at this time because magic works through you. There's no one else here in the story that has pertinence other than yourself. Uh, we begin with 52, which breaks to a seven. Let's get Divine Feminine's next few cards. She's feeling magical at this time. I get Empress, a little mix of High Priestess and the Magician with that type of energy. So I'll show that one more time. This is your energy, Divine Feminine. I'm time markering this video because it splits the DF and DM, okay? Uh, let's see what else you're placing. In the emotional sector, Bobcat and Moth. Woo, ciao. We have Moth as you transforming. Again, I'm gonna say it over and over again. Someone's going through a physical transformation on this channel. You could appear more beautiful to people. I feel like you're radiating. You could even be told in the physical life here on this planet, your friends, maybe even here close family members, that you're appearing different than the past. Um, this is surrender now to any thoughts and feelings that hold you back or are creating stagnation. Whenever I see this moth card, and yesterday it was actually in our pick a pile, goodness gracious, it's a little scary. It is about death. This is essentially the death card. Uh, you're going through an ending and it could be the in-between world. So the Empress is navigating there and through this. Okay, 39, it's also a 12. And we have Bobcat Spirit in your watery space, your cups space. The Bobcat, let's read it and look at that transfixed, beautiful eye. Let me see if I can sharpen it a bit here. There we go. Um, you're the Bobcat in your emotional area or your sector today. Life is a mystery things are changing. There was a complete death into things turning into a beautiful mystery. Every day when you wake up can feel different now, Divine Feminine. You could feel the essence of change. Uh, you also are getting all of your clues and signs and insignias and they're coming directly toward you, perhaps in readings, perhaps in clarification with guides and spiritual gurus and people who you trust. There's something here about like trustworthy essences too that you're living by and you also create new rules with. Um, there's no coupleship yet, there's no soulmate, it's just all about the divine feminine, which is the way we like it on the channel. Uh, you can screenshot this if this is valid in your life at this time, okay? And we always go to the book next, so let's do archetypes. We have the wild unknown. If you guys want to screenshot it or get ideas from this book, I am getting the cards back in a couple days. I had lost them so I don't order the card portion. I just turned to a page and I haven't looked, but I feel like that's where we're supposed to stop intuitively today. So we will go there. Let's see what it is. We have another horse. Libras, if your spine isn't tingling yet, this is the page. You may screenshot because I'm going to read it verbatim to you. And we landed on the hunter. I'm a little scared here. I'm just going to fix the overhead lamp. Um, the hunter reveals nine. That's the number of the card. And I'm gonna just have you look at the artwork before we marinate on your Divine Feminine cards, okay? This could be a message for you or you could manifest this energy or it's already in your life. So Divine Feminine, the hunter, the seeker, the pursuer, the predator. Okay, interesting. We have predatorial things going on here. Um, just take it as it resonates. 
The hunter hunts. They are on the precise mission with an aim. To return home empty-handed would be fatal, and it would be a fail, which is not an option in this hunter's eye. To the divine feminine, this archetype will journey far and wide seeking the prize that calls to its heart or its stomach. Tales of bravery and feats of strength often result, creating a life full of adventure for this fellow. The hunter is skillful, quick, decisive, and results-oriented. Like the great hunting goddess Artemis, who carries her quiver upon her back, the hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions and three questions only. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting it? Is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand? The hunter seems to be an intrigued fellow who's heading towards a DF. I don't think it's the DF herself. I believe that this energy is heading towards you like a knight of wands or a knight of swords. I just haven't picked which one I feel like it's more yet. Okay, so we're just doing this intuitively. That's from the book and that's the artwork. One more time, DF. So that's your message. The hunter, it's looking like it's Sagittarius. Yeah, it even says here, focused, energized, respectful, respectful can be seasoned, um, violates sometimes comes in violent. Frida Kahlo's The Wounded Deer would be the picture today associated. So if you want to look up Frida Kahlo's painting, The Deer, it's associated to this story. All right, that's the first message. I'm going to put it here on my table and utilize it as a card because it carries energy. We have the hunter, the moth. Could be going through a rebirth at this time, divine feminine and bobcat is the emotional space, which is life is a mystery. The scarab beetle, uh, Egyptian influences, also hieroglyphics kind of inside. It's mimicking that like Egyptian feeling inside the scarab beetle. The sun is also associated to this. Magic works through you. You could appear as the sun too. We're gonna draw tarot here in a bit. I'm gonna, I'm drawn to use the green deck for the divine feminines. So let's get started. I'm gonna half it. Bottom of the deck was the page of swords before I peeked. The divine feminine reading today, nine cards, please, for what's going on in the current. We have the five of wands, the ace of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Okay, someone's living in their Venus and Virgo essence today, very independent and happy. The Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, the High Priestess, uh, two more cards, the Fool, Eight of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Immediately what I see here is the Divine Feminine is going through a reward season. There could be physical changes happening within this girl. She's floating within flowers. And whenever you see feminine energy mixed with florals or flowers, this person is coming into their own. Okay, so that is the Nine of Pentacles. You could be experiencing this. You could feel this card today if you're DF energy. There's a little bit of competition around you in the Five of Wands currently. An offer coming through with the Ace of Pentacles. This is the Ace of Materials. And it speaks of a gift, either that you have to offer or a gift is coming to you in an offering stance, right? Um, with us stopping at the hunter at the beginning of your reading today, that was the very first page we went to together. It is a romantic person, can be a Knight of Cups too, now that it's appearing to me that way. This person is environmentally here for you. Okay, we just don't know what they're going to say and your spread is revealing that they wanna reveal a Two of Cups, which is emotions for you. Do you feel it on some level as a high priestess is what I'm picking up. High priestess is in the cloak there that's baby blue. So there could be a Pisces here for you, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Five of Pentacles is also the same signs I listed, and an Aries. That's all I have for you today. There's not looking like it's much air signs, okay? We end with the Fool card. Also in the beginning of the reading, I paused because I said something about trust, trusting new situations and experiences and maybe people that you are reconciling with. The word rekindle is coming into me as a channeler. Let's look at that. What does rekindle mean and the new journey here with the Fool card? What is the Divine Feminine? Isn't this like, 
I feel the Divine Feminine energy even looks like this today, uh, if you're already resonating. Can I see what the rekindling is, if it's a rekindling? Three of Pentacles is for a rekindling uh, reconciliation attempt. Somebody wants to work with you, okay? That's what's coming out. And the Three of Pentacles feeling is like to see if you're even willing to do so, if you have energy for this person. Can be past and it also can be present which is really, really nice because you have a current two of cups. And this could be a very new person also trying to change pace, turn the page with you as well, and attempt to actually write a story with you that's new, uh, two of cups. What's the bobcat life is a mystery at this time? Thank you, and you only have one card. It's the five of wands reversed. Okay, somebody doesn't wanna be competitive anymore. Um, they don't want to slack here in a situation. They want to come in clean as the five of wands reversed and removing conflict as well. That goes almost with um, the past that you come from, Divine Feminine. So we'll just see here if they come in as brand new or are there more new people or is there an old person trying to come in, please? What's the Hunter as well? Hunter card, the Queen of Swords. It might be you in today's story. You might be on the hunt for a new story or to break through. Like sheer willpower is also the queen of swords. That would be you, which is Libra energy, okay? A yellow dress holding her sword like it's no tomorrow. She also looks like she could be the sun here today because of the dialect of the clothing and the color. She could feel like a new beginning has come in and she's ruling it with a different type of weapon these days, which we read in The Hunter. Also, transversely, could be a masculine coming in for you. Uh, Six of Swords are also your cue cards and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like material attention is where you put your 3D, I would say, attention to at this time. Maybe it feels complete there to work on something tangible and actually get results from. Okay, so that would be something that you're working on today. Who's the Two of Cups? Who's the Two of Cups, please? Who is the... Thank you. Reverse Tower. Reverse Tower and the Four of Wands. This is so fantastic. It didn't come in upright. It was like this on my table. The Reverse Tower is averting yourself or bypassing a tower that potentially was going to come in, okay? And literally strike the top of that steeple. You've bypassed, it's almost like um. I get the feeling today from this card, Libras, that you bypassed it in a certain, like, smart way. You didn't have to go head on into the situation because you didn't need to. <laughs> it's like you bypassed a car accident, something to that effect. And I know that's a little sensitive here, but that's the way I'm seeing it is you bypassed an accident as it was supposed to come about. And we do have the Four of Wands, which is gatherings and celebrations. There's something being highlighted here in your career sector or maybe even here with something that you do very well where you're being celebrated at this time and take it how it resonates. We end with the four of wands for the divine feminine. Okay, beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, we have the devil to the eight of wands. One last card, the death card. Okay, you could be ending a relationship here to somebody and you feel like it's all going towards something different, positive, and you're making a choice to work maybe perhaps with other people, okay? I have those cards too to prove. Let's go to the Divine Masculine. That was pretty heavy. You're also going to get a book reading today too. So I'm just gonna move those over. Let's start with the archetypes and it's 1405 for the Divine Masculine. So let's go to it. I already saw something, but that's not the page I wanted to go to for you today. Divine Masculine is the heart. Okay, you could be watching for your DM. This is their message today, or they feel this. Um, mail's on the channel. You might be touching onto this today. So screenshot if you want. We begin with the heart. It is possible from an imaginal, uh, imaginal point of view, that was correct, to sense the heart at place. Either we are there within the realm of expansion or compassion, or we have drifted so far away from it that we haven't been able to go anywhere else. There is no in-between. It is common for us to leave this archetypal center without realizing, as in the world with its seductive twists and turns, that it offers us frequent departure in a positive light. 
we may even become a stranger to the landscape of the heart, leaving it vacant for the next stretch of this seat or of its seat of its heart. Um, nature, music, dance, and the presence of children or animals can live here. This card encourages us to move past the layers of life's tangles and twists and knots and enter the wild and just experience for once the throne of its nature. That's so pretty and beautiful. The most precious throne in this journey is the galaxy of awaiting your return back to it. And that is the heart. Beautiful. I'm going to show you guys the artwork because it's showing here that something is nested, right? We're getting a lot of hay feelings here um, and something being cradled inside or two people in a boat, if it wasn't clear on the camera here. Uh, the words associated to it is expansive, knowing, gentle clarity, okay? And the painting that is, or I'm sorry, the song affiliated is Wild is the Wind by Nina Simone for the Divine Masculine. Okay, I'm going to put it here. We did have the heart today for you. Let's get a nine card reading in, and we're also going to do your animals at the very, very end. The Divine Masculine for the next few days. Please and thank you. DM Energy, Divine Masculine. And it's a rainy, sad day today in California, but I felt like leaving you guys with a variance of messages um, so that it wasn't boring or something that you couldn't really watch today. So uh, the Divine Masculine, get prepared. These are your messages for the next few days. I'm going to read whatever comes out. Four of Pentacles. Okay, that could be the heart space itself, holding on, holding back. The Eight of Pentacles for you. For masculines let's see how else how does it connect to the divine masculine thank you angels and guides are presenting the seven of cups there's options here a few ways of going around and doing something or there's choices as well for the dm energy how does that connect to a conclusion thank you a couple of cards the three of cups the queen of cups and the king of swords Again, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Chariot for the Masculines. There's an element of travel for the DM energy and, of course, females. This could very well be your energy because you can be Divine Masculine too. There's an energy of travel moving swift and also quickly with the Chariot card. It's also Cancer. Cancer is also the... Um, particular placement in the soulmate cycle right now they're the heavy hitters there it began with the cancer position and it's ending soon in cancer so we have ten of cups on the bottom of the deck the nine of swords and the five of cups if those are any indicators for you all watching their affection is with the queen of cups an intuitive divine feminine uh, i also feel like this is a connection to a past queen of cups that bonds the two of you together. You have an affiliation with somebody like this. It is the only court card that is female today. And the King of Swords is the placement or the attitude that you're carrying in the situation. That's probably why the heart card was shown first because there's been a lot of swords recently and somebody coming in with a lot of truthful intent or they wanna state the truth with the King of Swords. He's someone sometimes, you know, when you see the King of Swords, you can fear a type of card like this because they're just going to come in and blatantly and harshly say it. And that's the King of Swords, okay? Um, as we move forward, we have intentions, which is effort. We're going to clarify this card and see why it's here because the affections seem to be discombobulated and messed up with a lot of options in the background. And we also have a Queen of Cups, which is the true desire of this King of Swords. That is the divine masculine placement today. They do wanna achieve happiness and equalizing that in balance, but they're not sure how to get there at this time. So if I'm reading for you, masculine happiness is like the end result here. It's the huge yes that's peeking out, um, but effort is going to be needed. And we don't know if this is going to be 3D enacted in a way that's effective for both parties. Okay, and there could be multiple parties here too, because uh, some people have third party stories. So let's see what that is in the Animal Oracle deck. I have it shuffled here. I'm just going to do a quick hand shuffle. What's the Eight of Pentacles in terms of action and how soft or how fluid will that come in? For the DM energy, please. Divine Masculine only. Oh, it doesn't want to. Do you see that? It barely wants to talk. 
and I feel like that's sometimes how the masculine energy can show up. We have deer. It's a gentle approach. <laughs> gentle. Um, so we have the deer. In order to approach the Queen of Cups, and this is what I'm getting, the Queen of Cups has to receive it in a soft manner. This person can't come in harsh with a sword. They do have to express heart feelings. It says bring a gentle touch. They have to be reminded of something sensitive, okay, to accept something that's genuine and heartwarming and also on top of that very truthful. Because you're coming in as a king of swords right now, masculine, and I feel like you are more in your masculinity than rather showing something soft at this time. The deer comes out for today in this energy. And it'll make sense if you see a little bit more cards here. Um, there's something a little bit more raw in the Divine Masculine's reading. A little bit more about, and I just cut the deck, excuse me. Ace of Wands was the cut. They do want a new beginning with this Queen of Cups. So she is not past. Uh, she is not very much in the present either i feel like it's just the object of affection in the divine masculine's reading she's very intuitive um rather smart i also feel like she is congealed right now in a space where she's being protected and she's also like protecting herself that's what's coming through with the queen of cups it's cancerian so that outer shell because it is cancer could be something that she is uh, trying to keep protected for some reason. Why is the Divine Feminine reacting in this way? Why is she like this today? Divine Feminine, thank you. The Hierophant, she's looking at spirituality. She's looking at the deeper side of life this time for her answers. She might even be like, to me, that's deep prayer as well in connection to the 5D. Again, very, very intuitive divine feminine that you're dealing with, okay? There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Queen of Cups is like the lady for that. And the Wheel of Fortune is the last spot. You could be turning the wheel here for your DF energy to come back around to you. Uh, I feel like you'd like a good result because the Wheel of Fortune is exactly that. It's fate turning in a result that's never bad. You always want to come to a truce with this card or move on wheel of fortune can i clarify just this last card for the divine masculine what's the result here three of wands you could be waiting on them like i feel like this could be dangerous because you're waiting for the queen of cups to respond to you and maybe with the heart card at the beginning you should be the one reaching out perhaps it's just incurred only if it's your story and to come in soft with the deer card um, why, why is this person waiting to make advances? Oh, that makes sense. Two of swords, sideways. Making a decision or being wishy-washy in a certain direction, not making a clear choice. Also heading into a crossroads for you, divine masculine. So you have either a choice of two, you have to go down a certain road here, and also not make a mistake. Clarify the two of swords, please. What's the two of swords for today's interesting DF and DM reading? The Hermit. Okay, needing a little bit more time. There could be drawbacks here for the Divine Masculine or just needing a little bit more time. The Hermit is one card, and that's the only card that wants to come out today. After a crossroads has occurred, there could have been a change in the story as well where this pe person is seeking uh, divine intervention themselves. The Hermit is an overall card about getting enlightened and being in the quiet and finding out those answers and what your natural body, what your body is saying in a situation. So this Hermit is doing that and I feel like they're leaning more towards the Queen of Cups, okay? They share maybe intuitiveness between each other. What's the Hermit's decision, if I may know that? What are they coming closer to? Thank you. One card. I love when the one card three of cups there's a reconciliation here that could be planned by the hermit the hermit is thinking of the three of cups or they can already taste it with that reconciliation or gathering or friendly time okay 
I'm going to end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this version of DF and DM. If it resonated with you, just give me a little support today with the like button. It just lets me know you like this material and it keeps the channel open <laughs> and operational in the future. Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. These were your video drops. All my love as always. And this was the Divine Masculine message and the Divine Feminine message.